This is mutation number 235, fire in the hole with Phoenix P2. Since Phoenix has a purifier conclave that rebuilds itself, cheese is out of the question. Since cheesing uh, the building would, re would repair itself or uh, it will come back and then give Amon vision once again. So that's not going to work. That means we have to beat it the old fashioned way. And we're going to start off with Caldalis as usual. Getting extra buildings to take some hits, getting an early photon cannon to stop the bleeding because losing an early pylon will be very, very terrible. Getting the Twilight Council immediately afterwards. Caldalis will go out first, and depending on where the first spot is, we will go attack the center or the right side. Most likely the center, if it's anywhere except here. Like, if this is too close, so I tried attacking the center many times and it just like gets in the way, so I decided to go to the right first. The right area needs to be destroyed as quickly as possible because boom bots that spawn from there are extremely hard to deal with. Because, uh, as you'll see, I have like um, lure locations, locations where um, I uh, trap a number of bots in one location, in one spot, and the bottom right side, uh, this, this 6 o'clock base, doesn't help with that plan, because um, I don't have anything there, as you'll see. So this spot is coming to the left, which means that I'm going to uh, trap it with the one that's already on the left, and then here, just use the suit, clear out buildings. Okay, um, and then the here, the second one is here. I'm trying to keep them on low ground because I failed many times due to like a, a carrier or an adept just running along too far, trying to chase missiles and um, uh, getting themselves killed. So this one is again on the left side. This is the first time actually I had so many on the left side because usually I have a ton on the right, and since there are more buildings on the right, probably. Uh, uh, based on probability, I should fight them on the right, or see bots on the right side, but three of them came from the left, so we're gonna just deal with them here. Oh, that was close. And then switch suits so that uh, I can recover some um, HP or uh, energy. And then you can see here on the right, I have two. One for the center and then one for the right, top right. And then here, another one on the right side, which was very surprising. So. There were so many that I just decided to bring them to the high ground and just be careful when, with my carriers. So I'm going to trap four of the bots. The first four are all stuck on the left side, and then we're going to expand. The um, Arbiter suit is just poking away at two buildings. These are the two like easy ones that are completely undefended, but need to be destroyed at some point. And then, time to expand. I'm taking the right side, because if a bot spawns in the middle, uh, I can actually let it go down the left side. But here, uh, I'm gonna trap this bot. I'm gonna go to the right and um, try to bring it to... Oh, and I messed up there. I actually messed up several times uh, doing this, which was bad. Here, I'm trying to bring it away to my uh, trap on the right side. So my trap on the right side... See, I, I messed up again. Man, that was just bad. But I realized, hey, I cleared the whole top left, so it's time to clear the top center. And then I have Clolarian. Oh, and I saw another bot was just spawned, so I'm going to trap both of them at the same time. Bring them both to the middle right, that big empty area, uh, for trapping, and then finish off this building. And you can see here, I'm going to trap them, and then this other probe go back to the middle. The probe at around like the middle, top middle part is there because I don't want the bots to go down the center. I want them to go down the side. The 1130 spawn is extremely important because uh, every time it spawned in this area, I pretty much um, lost, so I pretty much had to let it spawn on the right side. And if it didn't, I lost. I should not have lost the Dragoon suit, but fortunately, it wasn't a big deal. So here, I'm going to trap these three over here. I have Clolarian, so Clolarian's going to sit at the... Um, Clolarian's going to sit at the next ship to keep try to keep it alive. And then I'm bringing Talus there as well, just some bodies to take hits. And um, now, uh, Zealot Suit is going to deal with the attack wave, and then um, this will be the last spawn. So I'm going to uh, kill these last four, four or five buildings before the 14 minute something spawn. And I need to trap these two guys, uh, make sure that they're looking at me, there they are. And then we go in a circle, okay. So right click the final buildings, last one, okay. 
and then teleport my dudes out of there to help out. And then we hit. Then we fight. Uh, now, I need about four carriers at each base to defend against missiles. And um, I'm basically here just uh, trying to keep this ship alive. My plan was to keep the ship alive. But, as you will see, things did not go according to plan. I was so sure it was going to stay alive, and then um, I lost it somehow. Because maybe too many Banshees or something, I don't know. But finally, I can get Robotech units, and it's already 15 minutes. So, um, nukes are coming. That means I'm going to need my carriers to be in position, or my Phoenix uh, Dragoon suit to shoot down, uh, shoot them down. So I see one here, I can shoot it down, okay. Uh, that one, I just prayed it didn't drop, and fortunately that worked out. Um, and I missed the timing for the um, this uh, ship, so it launched on its own, which was bad. That means I have to wait an extra minute, and that changes the timing of things. So now I'm just gonna build like some cannons. I can build like uh, a lot of pylons to not. Um, I want to build extra pylons so that I don't uh, get supply blocked, and uh, I pretty much pay attention to the mini map. Make sure that uh, my carriers are in position to intercept the nukes before they get too close. Because the regular missiles that can hit my buildings doesn't really matter. The most important thing is not letting the, the nukes hit me. And I see one there. I have two hotkeys. So one for the right side, one for the one for natural, one for the main. And then here I see, okay, better kill the attack wave. And then um, my champions get to work. I'm going to get the last champion at some point, but not right now. And then, oh man, that's close. That was close. Alright, um... So here we go. Clear, clear, clear. Fight, fight, fight. And then I see the next ship is coming, so I better... Um... I better get in position. And I see there's, uh... A lot of... A lot fewer buildings than I wanted. Um, teleport these guys and let's fight. You see, I have so much money. I'm trying to spend it, but uh, it's basically for like uh, gateway unit refills. And then the sentry will be back there. Back up Warbringer or Warbringer himself. I don't I think I have a backup. I should have more. And then I realize, okay, it's, uh, it's about time to get um, Mojo. So I'm going to get extra buildings and then... I have Mojo here, finally. I'm gonna set this off early, because I don't need to... Um, I don't really need to... Uh, wait. I don't have any, like, call-down elves or anything that I'm waiting for. But you can see I have a lot of money. And then I'm just gonna keep using the the servitor, the, the bubble, as many as much as I can. And then uh, Oak Lauren's, uh he died, so I'm gonna bring him back. Okay, and then... Get another one. Put all this here. Just wipes out all the marines. Okay. And then time to replace this. I probably should have built um, stargates instead of stargates instead of cannons, but uh, that's fine. Stargates have t so much more HP than a cannon, so that's why. Um, the attack wave is here. Now I definitely need to lure these guys away from that landing point. The landing point is where the escort waves land before they walk, and I lost many times as a result of that, so I made sure not to make the same mistake this time by luring them towards the eradicators. And here I'm going to build buildings. Building buildings around the ships is very important to body block the aberrations, but it's also dangerous because it may bring nukes to uh, to my to the base. So. I got to this point before, and I didn't have any buildings, and I lost as a result. So this time, I'm just gonna build buildings, even if it's risky. I have Clolarian, Clolarian, and perhaps Dragoon Suit to take care of uh, those. Take care of those, and I have. Uh, well, my carriers are doing a good job, seems. So now, uh, I made sure that the escort wave has uh, is, is already heading out before I actually um, trigger because. If I don't, the escort wave will go to the other ship, and I won't be ready for it. So here, they're starting to hit my stuff, but it doesn't matter. They're sacrificial anyways. So I'm just basically one moving, and then um, I'm getting ready to deal with the attack wave. Um, here, I'm going to use the alt and hit the nuke plus the attack wave. 
And then we're gonna switch suits. I think. I don't know. Build pylons. And then paying attention all this time. Uh, making replacements for all my shells. Uh, I, I realize I don't have Caldalus shells, so I better get some more because to keep them at full power. And then here, it's time to build lots of Stargates. And then here, uh, because I have time, I'm just going to use my regular army to fight this. Don't want to use my ults. And then just build lots of Stargates. Lots of Stargates. Okay. Caldalus comes over to finish them off. Alright, and then we go, get ready. Uh, conservators just for extra backup and then build more stargates just so many buildings just body block as much as I can put all my shells nearby so I can be ready to fight and then get detector drop the bubbles and just hold on for dear life here just kill oh I missed now that was bad because I lost all the interceptors so I won't be able to actually do anything with that for a bit um, yeah, and then my shells, I don't know if they're stuck back there, but, um, they're not, well, Caldalus is fine. I think Caldalus will be able to jump out, even if there was a, even if they're stuck back there. Okay, I have extra mojo shells and everything, so we're good, we're just good to go. Then, we have 17 seconds, so at this point I knew, okay, I'm not gonna die. Even if I get nuked, even if the Boombots free themselves, I'll be fine. 